Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Airtable with Jira. First of all, we have to create ourselves an account at Airtable.com and the fastest way how we can get to integration is by using search engine and writing Airtable slash integrations. As you can see, there are a couple of integrations that we can pick from. We can try and find the Jira here, but I'm afraid we won't be successful. There is uh, the other way how we can make this integration happen, and that's through automate.io. Uh, you will find the link at automate.io in the description down below the video. What we want to do at automate.io is we want to go to the top corner and we want to go and press integrations. Once we are here and we hover over the integration, uh, there are options for see all categories. We click on see all categories and we want to start with the app that we want to start integrations with. In our case, it's Airtable. Once we find it in the search, we click on Airtable and we want to integrate it with Jira. So in this other search engine, we'll go with Jira like this. And as you can see, already automate.io uh, is providing us with the most popular, mo most searched for integrations. Uh, but if none of this will work for you, you can uh, scroll even lower and uh, you can create your own integration. In this case, you can pick from two options if you want to start with Airtable as your first one the one that will be affecting the second one, the Jira. So it's either new record or update a record. Let's go with new record. And now we have to check for action. Let's go with update issue and try it now. After clicking on try it now, you will have to create an account at Automate and basically just finish the integration and you are good to go. The second way around is to it's through Zapier.com. Uh, once we are here, we also have to create an account and we want to go to the top left corner from our dashboard and we want to make a Zap. Once we are here, we, want, uh, we can name our Zap like Airtable to Jira, for example. And once again, we want to start with a trigger app. Trigger app is once again, Airtable. Let's go with Airtable new record, for example, we press continue. Now we have to choose an account. So we will pick the one that we created a couple of minutes ago. Continue, set up a trigger. Now you will, uh, there will be the research or the worksheet uh, workspace that you created and at integrations. And Table, let's go with the users. We press continue. This is where you can test your trigger. But for now, let's go to the second action. The second action will be Jira, same as at Airtable. So we go Jira, software cloud, server or, or desk, it's completely up to you. Press Jira. And uh, yeah, now we have to pick from all those options. Like this continue and the last thing you have to do is just to sign in uh, to Jira and that's about it so thanks for watching and see you on the next video